This February is a month of language. Yeah, few days ago, on the twenty-first of February, we celebrated our International Mother Language Day. And as far as I went, I did presentations on Five Martyrs, International Mother Language Day, Asan Manzil, and today the main thing related to all those Five Martyrs and International Mother Language Day is language. Today I'm gonna narrate a story to you, which makes you feel the contribution of language to people's lives. To this world's communication system, okay. I'm starting my story of language, but before that, if you want to know the full story and if you want to feel it from the bottom of your heart, you have to watch this video until the end. So keep your eyes on my video until the end, okay. So without any delay, I'm starting my story. A very little boy who lives in Bangladesh. Is really interested in International Mother Language Day. Every year, he goes to pay homage to the martyrs of our International Mother Language Day. That means Salam Rafi Barkat Jabbar Shafir and many other language martyrs. Yeah, he reads in an English medium school in Bangladesh, Dhaka. That means that everything there is related to English. There's nothing Bengali there. Everything they speak, they say, they do, everything is related to English. And as their parents' child, that means he is an English medium student. So his parents all the ways, all the time, talk in English with him so that his practice doesn't get stopped. Okay, so. This year, on the twenty-first of February, that means on the International Mother Language Day, his mother got dressed up so well. His father did also, and he also did, and he took his favorite toys with him to the Shohid Minar. On the way, he was talking to his mother and father, as it was his growing age, and he asked many questions to them. It was his time for asking questions and know the entire world. So, he asked his father and mother that parents, why do we celebrate twenty-first February as International Mother Language Day? They said that, dear, it's a traffic jam right now, and we're on the road. I cannot discuss it right now. But the child forced them to answer and said that, please, father and mother, I want to know from you because today is International Mother Language Day. After this day, you won't be willing to answer this question to me. Please do answer. So the mother replied that, dear, we celebrate twenty-first February's International Mother Language Day because on this February, many martyrs, like many people, they sacrifice their life for establishing Bengali as a state language. They wanted Bengali to be a state language as well as Urdu. In spite of Urdu, they also wanted Bengali to be a state language. So they sacrificed their lives for this Bengali language. The child then felt really sad. He asked his mother and father that, "Dear parents, if they sacrifice their life for Bengali language, though I am an English medium student, you guys never ever talk to me in Bengali. You guys never ever say that that is my mother tongue. You also do not regard it as a mother tongue. So why do you get up dressed in such a nice way and go to pay homage?" In just one single day, you think that it's your daily activity, but you do not have any feeling towards this activity. Then, the parents realized that we sure are doing a very bad deed. Instead of English, yeah, we also have to practice English because it will help us in our career, in our future. So the child should learn English. But shouldn't the child also learn Bengali? Even though he's in English medium school, he should learn even a bit of Bengali because that's his mother tongue. That's the place where he was born, Bangladesh. The name starts with the word Bangla. So why shouldn't he learn any bit of Bengali language? The parents felt ashamed, and from that day, 
The parents always talked in Bengali as well as English to the child, and the child is now a Bengali and an English, both at a time. The child says, when the child will grow up, the child will represent Bengali as a very best language in the world, and he will represent Bengali to all over the world in such a great way that people will say that that boy is a Bengali. The place where he lives, the, those people speak in Bengali. And he did so much for his language. That's why that boy said that mother and father, wherever you are, wherever you study, even that thing is not related to your cultural life. Yeah, if you were studying in China, would you ever forget Bengali? No. If you are studying abroad in USA or in UK in the Oxford University, would you ever forget Bengali? No, you shouldn't. Though that is an English-related educational institution, still Bengali is your mother language, so you have to keep in touch with Bengali. So, the story teaches us that wherever we are, whatever we do, we have to keep our mother language in our heart. Because that's where our root grows from. Our root, our voices, vocals root, grows from Bengali language. So we should keep in touch with the root. A plant without a root is a lifeless plant. So we also have to think of that, that our voice without the root is a lifeless voice. So thank you so much everyone for watching this video until the end. Inshallah, I'll come with a very interesting and super topic next time. Till then, keep your eyes on my favorite presentation challenges. Fia Manila. Aapna shandan aapnaar ka chhe? Ekti shop no. Ekti projon mo. Ekti Bangladesh. Hai, deshgarar prottay pratishthita huye chhe. Boss, Bangladesh Online School. Oi shape future. For admission, Please call or SMS to 0162 000 4200.